What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Rob HK and in this video we're going to talk about LumaFusion Basics. So if you're brand new to LumaFusion or if you consider buying LumaFusion, this is the video for you. So in this video we will go through the basic steps on how you create your first project, how you create your first movie and how you put things together like uh, transitions, like cross the solve, color grading, remove the audio from your file and import new audio and text change the look of the text and so on. So this tutorial is basically the LumaFusion basic and you're gonna learn the basic steps of LumaFusion and how you can create a movie on the go. And if you're an experienced LumaFusion user, this video might be for you as well, since I will show you some tips and tricks that you can use to speed up your workflow as well. So let's jump into LumaFusion and start the tutorial and let's learn how to make a video. Roll that intro. So once we open up LumaFusion, this is the layout that you will see. And as you can see, there's a variety of different buttons on the bottom left, on the top right, top left and bottom right. And you also have the preview screen listed here. And the way that the preview screen works is that everything on your timeline can be previewed inside that preview screen before you render it to your device. And here you can also preview your files before adding them to your timeline. And if we start by checking out the bottom left, here you see a circle with a plus inside of it. This circle is the project. So by tapping on this one, you will be able to make a new project. And let's move over to the next icon. This icon is the import icon where you can import different things from your Dropbox, from your Google Drive and from the internet itself. Let's move over to the next icon and this icon is the duplication of your project. So by tapping on this button, you will be able to copy the selected project. So you have two of the same project. And let's move over to the next button. This button is the consolidate media, meaning if you have any issues with your files or your project or your project is broken. And if something doesn't add up inside the project, like the music is not synced to your device, you can tap on this button and you can consolidate your media. And this will usually fix that issue. Moving over to the next icon, that is the delete project icon and this will delete your project file. So let's start by making a new project. And to make a new project, we're gonna tap on the plus sign in the middle of the screen where the timeline will be. And then we will have a box pop up where we can add the name of the project, we can change the frame rate of the project and we can change the frame aspect. And for this video, we're going to use the frame aspect landscape and we're going to choose the frame rate of 60 FPS. And the next thing we do is we tap on create project by tapping on this button right here and we will get into our timeline. And once we get into our timeline, we have the audio control on the left side here. This is used to adjust the audio for each layer. And under that, we have a button which can be used to hold the footage in one specific position. And underneath this button, we also have the delete button, the trash can. And this is used to delete the certain files that you don't want on your timeline. And if we move over to the right side, you will have a toolbox. This is the icon you tap on if you want to edit your footage. And we're gonna come back to this button in just a sec. And now that we created our first project, it's time to import some footage. And to import any video, you want to tap on the source button, which is on the top left. And once you tap on the source button, you will get six options. You can go into your photos app, you can go into imported files, you can go to story blocks, titles, transitions, and iTunes. So let's tap on photos and then albums to get into our photos app on the iPad. 
and then videos. And here we're going to find some footage that we want to use for this tutorial. You can also tap on any of the files that you have inside your photos app to get a preview of those files inside the preview window. And once you're inside the preview window, you can simply tap on this button to add it right to your timeline, or you can tap and hold on the preview window and then drag it down to your timeline. And when you found the video clip that you want to add to your timeline, you can simply drag the marker across the preview window to find the spot where you want the video to start. And you can use these two buttons to trim the footage. You can trim the left side and the right side by using these two buttons. And once you trimmed your footage, you can tap hold on the preview screen and then drag it down to your timeline. And once the video clip is on your timeline and you still want to make some adjustments to the length, you can go over to the right side to the scissors and you can tap on the scissors to make a cut to your video file. And once you made a cut to your video file, you can go over to the left side to the trash can and you simply tap on the trash can to delete that part of the video. And any highlighted video files will be deleted if they are highlighted when you tap on the trash can. So make sure to tap on the correct clip before you tap on the trash can. But let's say if you want to remove a one or two frames of your current clip that's on the timeline, an easy way to go frame by frame is to swipe on the previous screen to either left or to the right. This allows you to go frame by frame and you can easily do this if you want to make a short cut to your clip. And as you can see, the video clip that we imported has an audio file inside the clip. Uh, but we want to delete this audio file and we don't want to go over to the audio control to lower the volume. So what we can do is to tap on the video clip and we can go to the toolbox and then we can tap on detach. This will allow you to detach that sound which is inside that clip. This also gives you more control over the audio. And you can also add different types of low pass filters and manipulation to the sound. But we want to add a new music file to this clip. So we're gonna tap on the music file and tap on the trash can. The next thing we do is to go over to source once more which is on top left and then we go to import it. And here you can see all the music files that I have already imported into LumaFusion via Dropbox. And we can simply tap on one of the music files to get into the preview screen. And then we can use the in point or the out point to decrease the size of the song. And you can use this if there's a small part of the song that you want to add to your timeline. And once you trim down your audio file, you can either tap on the button which directly imports it into your timeline or you can tap hold and drag it down to your timeline. But now as we drag the audio file down to our timeline, you can see that the audio file is longer than our video clip. So what we want to do is to go to the end of the video clip and then make a cut with the scissors so we can remove the part of the music that we don't want. And you can tap on this button on the right side or a left side of the play button to go to the next video clip. As we want to go to the end of this video clip, we're gonna tap on the right button here and that will take us directly directly to the end of that clip. And then we can tap on the audio file and then make a cut with the scissors. And once we made the cut, we go over to the trash can to delete the remaining of this song. So now that we added a video clip and some music to that video clip, it's time to go over to source and add some text. And we're gonna add some text by going to source and tapping on titles. And here you can see a variety of built-in titles made by LumaTouch. And I'm simply going to add this text to show you an example of how it works with color and shapes. So here is what it looks without any shapes and here is what it looks with all the shapes and text added. And you can simply go into each shape and you can change 
the shadow you can change the color and you can change the shadow angle and the center and and all that there's a lot of customization that you can do to each layer and you can add multiple layers of shape or text if you want to do that but now let's go out of this one and we're gonna add a plain text so we're simply gonna tap and hold on the plain text and then drag it down to our timeline now let's go into edit on this text layer and we're going to change the text. So you can either double tap on your text here to change the text or you can tap on this button right here to get into the edit of the text. So let's type something like drawing and now we want to change the font. So we're going to tap on done and we're going to tap on the font section. So here you can change to any font that you have built into your iPad or you can use custom fonts that you imported to LumaFusion. And here you can also adjust different settings to make a unique look to your text. And once you're happy with your text, you can go out to your timeline again and you can play through to see what you just created. And let's add some effects to the text because we want it to fade in and fade out. So what we're going to do is to go to the source and then over to LumaFusion's built-in transitions. And here you can see that there's a variety of different basic transitions that comes with LumaFusion. But for this text, we just want to add a basic cross dissolve. And a tip is to go to global settings first and then you can see that you can change the duration of your transitions, your titles and photos. So here you can change the length of your transition or effect before you apply it to your clip. So now let's add a cross dissolve to our main clip and we're simply gonna tap and hold and drag it down and release on top of the clip. And now you can see that the clip fades in and let's add one at the end as well. And you can see that we have the clip fading in and we have the clip fading out at the end. And you can also use the cross dissolve to fade out the music that you have on your timeline instead of going into the audio file and then create an opacity change. You can simply add a cross dissolve to achieve this effect. Now that we're done with the majority of the project, let's go into the main clip and add some color grading. And as we get into color and effects, you can see under the color presets that comes with LumaFusion that there's a lot of free color presets that you can add to your footage. And here you can also change the levels, the saturation, contrast, vibrance and brightness and a lot more. You can also tint this and make different adjustments. Now let's move over to LUTs. LumaFusion also comes with a variety of different LUTs that you can apply to your footage. A LUT is a lookup table, uh, basically a coat that you put over your video, but it's recommended to color grade with a color preset before you add a LUT. So a LUT is something that you add to your footage after you have added some color grading to it. So once we're done with the color grading and we're happy with the final result of the grading, we can go out to our timeline and we can play through to see what we just created. And now that we're happy with the project that we just created, we're going to save and render this to our photos app. So we're going to go to the top right and we're going to tap on the share button and then we're going to tap on movie and then we're going to tap on photos. You can also tap on YouTube if you want to upload it directly to YouTube. And if you want to save a screenshot of your previous screen, which you can use for a thumbnail for your YouTube videos, you simply tap on the snapshot button. So once we're inside the movie settings, we change the resolution so it matches the resolution of the camera that we filmed with. And we do the exact same thing with the frame rate, we choose the same FPS which we use to film our footage. 
and for video quality we use the same settings as our camera is capable of filming and we basically don't have to touch any of the advanced settings so once we're done with the settings we're gonna tap on the share button and our movie will be saved to our photos folder so that's how you make a video inside of LumaFusion. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a lot from this video. And don't forget to use the tips and tricks like swiping the finger to move one frame. It really helps when you want to speed up your workflow and you want to get your video out there on YouTube and you just have a limited time to make your video. So I hope you like this video. And in the future, I might make a different video as well, which will be more of the advanced usage of LumaFusion. But for now, it's the basic LumaFusion video to teach you how you can make a video in just simple steps and how the buttons work. And that's also the end of this video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And also smash that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.